Oh, hello, big boys, and welcome to Cali's Caves 4. This is basically the third game again. So, I mean, there are some changes from what I've seen. Well, what I've heard, I've not actually played it, hence why I'm playing it now. Cali, Lloyd, I'm so glad to see you. I'm starting to get lost in the winding woods. We never find the cure for Robert's curse. Wouldn't Rupert's curse wouldn't be easy. So, the three years of search of the amulet of Valorous. Well, Rupert said he found some new clues about finding the amulet with a map. We need to find the way to Avalon. Avalon. I keep hearing voicing a clear note, which means you must be close. Make sure you grab the boomerang on the way, and I'll see you there. Right. So basically, it's a mobile game, which is also on PC. So I guess a multi-platform game, which is probably what they preferred to hear. You sort of shoot the enemies like that, and you get lots of upgrades. You get new guns. You get water wings. It's sort of a bit like a Metroidvania, but sort of not. Because it's a lot more linear than that. And yeah, you can level yourself up, level up your guns. It's all quite fun. And um, there you go, weapon up. So now my probably my guns are going to do like slightly more damage or something like that. This is always it's quite a fun little mechanic. I don't know why. Oh, there you go. Uh, looks like I thought it was a dildo then. Yes, yeah, so you got a sword. Oh, that's good. The first game we only had one animation. Now there's two. Very nice. Yep. So there's you, you can't actually uh, change where your gun shoots. It always shoots left or right. Although that's new, what you can do is if you hold down the button and then move at the same time, you'll sort of, rather than just, you know, it'll keep following where you're actually shooting so you can sort of strafe a bit. That's a cool mechanic, I like that. Good. Okay, that's chests. Yeah, they're just saying you can only get them out, you can only sword open the chests and stuff. Okay, that's all good. Okay, I'm just, okay, so it turns out there's basically no reason to use a sword. Actually, what you can do is you can reflect bullets, if I remember correctly. So, we'll try and get to a bit where you can reflect. Uh, yeah, let's just say, this game is, um... Oh, I died. Okay, I'm gonna start... Oh, you lose coins now. Oh, god, okay. Yeah, it's a fun little game, but also it's one of those games where... You know, it's a bit repetitive. But it's a mobile game as well, so, you know. And it's fun. It's very basic. It starts off basic anyway. I'm sure, it, just like the previous game, it'll, you'll get more power-ups and all sorts. I do wish you could crouch. I'm getting the vibes I really want to crouch. Uh, but that's fine. And it's worth opening up for the coins because you have to get you get upgrades to give you extra stuff and weapons up. Yeah, once you start shooting in more like directions, it gets a lot more fun. I assume you'll get that in this game. As I say, it's it does seem very similar. Maybe with a sort of better art style and stuff like that. I mean, it's all just better, but. Yeah, I did play through the entirety of the third one though. I didn't. I did actually quite enjoy it, to be fair. I thought I wasn't going to because it looked a bit um. Well, I guess a bit sort of boring, but it was alright. I mean, it's definitely a game I had to have play with a podcast in the background, which I think this one will be similar. But it's fun. Plus, it's, it's you know, I d everyone likes getting stronger over time and going back to the old levels and just humiliating everything, especially once you get like rockets and stuff. It's just what's that? I don't know what I got then. Yeah, it's all it's all good. Oh, what's that? Enforcer. Okay, I want the I want his boomerang. But see the problem here. <laughs> anyway, that's fine. Okay, is there anything down here I missed? Yes, chest. I'm gonna give up killing. Actually, I won't. I'll kill the man quick. There you go. Actually, tell you what, it might be leveling up. Yeah, I think that's that's stuff to level up my gun. Maybe I don't know. I thought it was. Hello, what do you want? These enforcers may be tricky, but I know a good trick to help you get an advantage. Yeah, you give your time and sword, so you probably you can parry most enemy projectiles. There you go. So the games have bosses uh, and stuff like that, and the bosses tend to be quite fun. The game isn't too hard. Uh, it's normally quite e well, not easy. It's quite well designed. No, there was a few times I was like, "What the hell am I supposed to do? How, how am I supposed to do this?" But there you go. That's a cool mechanic, isn't it? But um. Yeah, mostly alright. And the previous game, if you die, you have to restart like the in since the last checkpoint, which got really annoying. I don't know if that game, if this game, does the same. But I will, we'll see, won't we? We'll see. It's plenty of time. Uh, what's this? Oh, it's just showing me how to do that. Yeah, I know. I played the third one. I haven't played the first or second, but I think they're like, you know, they're pretty. They're all a bit samey, aren't they? And the, I think remember the first one was quite bad. But anyway. This game exists now, and it doesn't seem. It's, I mean, yeah, as I say, it's quite fun. I kind of wish there was a bit more parallax going on in the background. You know, there's this tree, and there is a bit of parallax scrolling, but I'd like a bit more just to really get that, get that vibe of moving. I keep using the word vibe. I don't know why I'm doing that. Maybe I've been watching too much Flash. Uh, anyway, level up. Aha! So now it's level three. That's not. Oh, it's me who leveled up that time. Okay. So now I'm level 2, which means I've got one more health bit. 
maybe. And here we go, the boomerang. So now we can use the boomerang instead, which we can level that up and it'll be better. Switch new weapons using presented. Yeah, okay. So obviously you get different weapons. Which ones you prefer is up to you. That one, ah, I see. So you can go through weapon. That's pretty good, isn't it? That seems very good, actually. Basically, means you don't have to aim. Nice. Did I go that way? No, that's where I started. Yeah, yeah, it was. I think maybe was it? Look at the map. Can't look at the map. Okay, can't look at the map until later. Apparently. Oh no. Yeah, I prefer the boomerang for sure. Even though it does seem a bit more close quarters. It's very close quarters. But it's all good. And it's good how the sword is double use, you know, how you can deflect and also do melee attacks. Everyone likes a bit of double use. Oh you have to go this way. Okay. There wasn't I thought there was a choice in where you get where you went. Yeah, I think there is checkpoints. I think they're still doing the checkpoints thing, so that's uh interesting. I don't like that. Uh anyway. Killed man. Good. This is I think it seems a lot easier with this uh lovely thing we've got here. Lovely, lovely. Uh yeah. I mean there's not much more to say really. Music's fine. I remember the first the third game having some pretty good music. This one has fine music. It's just obviously it's a bit samey. It does feel like I'm playing the third game again. But you have to keep him Oh I died. I lost a bit of money. You have to keep in mind this game this game uh, gets better as you progress, especially once you start having more interesting enemies and you sort of rush through the uh, the maps a bit faster and you can Ooh, and stuff like that. It's always good, and especially once you get to the shop and you can start buying stuff, which is always lovely, and you get silly coins, silly amounts of coins. But yeah, I think it was made in Game Maker, or something like that. I think that's what I've heard. So make of that what you will. Hola Miami was made in Game Maker, which is kind of shocking. I, wouldn't, I was kind of surprised. I didn't know Game Maker do, do all those shaders and stuff that it does. Anyway, killed man. Actually, I think, if I remember, yeah. Uh, I forgot on my Steam Control, I've got a button which does it for me if I hold it down. Ah, consumables, yeah, so you can, yeah, you know how they work, you get your health back. I'm just going to do that from now on. Makes it easier, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, I remember, I, I'm pretty sure that that's probably not really by design, but, you know, what are they going to do about it at the end of the day? What are you going to do about it, devs? Yeah, exactly, didn't think much. <laughs> anyway, kill the man, good, get some stuff get some more stuff yeah you see how when you shoot someone you get little drops and they'll they will upgrade your weapons and your guns and stuff yeah I'm sure you get it I'm gonna have to use one of those popsicles aren't I uh, oh I've got different costumes oh they all look very different I like her she looks cool don't think that's even the same character but I'll take it yeah <laughs> That is genius. I had, why had I not thought about this so sooner? Okay. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Yeah, you're going to be pressing the button a lot otherwise if you haven't got that button. Oh well. Okay. You can't go down. Okay. Ah, did more damage than a. Uh, oh. Level up. Cool. Good old. Yeah, I mean, I feel like I'm running out of stuff to I mean, I was running out of stuff to say a while back, but. Aztec calendar piece. Okay. Good. That's what I want for Christmas. So you get lots of achievements in this game, I've noticed. It's about 70 achievements. Most of them being defeat a certain amount of enemies. So that's good to know if you're uh, one of those people who like uh, achievements. Because you'll find a fair sum here. Now I remember the first game actually having a decent amount of like content. Because I had not only like, loads of levels, but then I uh, had like loads of DLC levels for free and stuff. So I don't know, is that really DLC or is it... Free update, I don't know. Whatever you want to call it. Whoa! Football, okay, that's new. Football player. <laughs> Alright, that's kind of a cool idea. So he can, like, he can hit you with a football and then sort of kick you. I mean, I, I, okay, I'm, that's a cool idea, like that, actually. I think that's a, that's a clever idea. I mean, it's silly, but that's exactly what you want. So we've got about 6,000 now. But we want some more than that. 6,000 coins. I want at least 12,000. Yeah, we'll get to the boss, then we'll call it quits, I reckon. Oh. Oh, God. Am I even going to get to a checkpoint? Ooh! I don't know. Yeah, okay, there you go. Cool. Oh, God, I actually... Am I, am I going to die? If I die, that's going to really annoy me. Uh, let's try not to die, everyone. Okay. I should be fine if I play it safe. 
If I just do that, I'm pretty sure he'll... No. Oh, okay, so it hits twice. That's good. Health, there you go. Ooh. If I just... Yeah, if I dodge that, it's normally fine. Because the rest of it's easy. Okay. Oh, God. Oh. Uh, that's quite good pixel art, actually. Quite good. So that's, that's always lovely. Especially the animations and stuff. Okay. Reminds me a bit... This game reminds me a bit of a game made by a friend at college. Called, um... I've forgotten what it's called. Uh, it's got a silly name. It's like Path of Resignance or something. Not Path of Resi I don't know. Something like that. It was a bit interesting. Uh, oh God, it's going to annoy me now. What's it called? He's making it and releasing it on Steam soon because it was one game maker, but he wanted to uh, release it to a new, you know, get off game maker and move to Unity. Okay, we'll carry on. Let's get to the boss. Come on. If we can't get to the boss, I'll be truly ashamed of myself. Okay, yeah, killing the man. Kind of wish my boomerang did a bit more damage, but we'll get there one day, I'm sure. Oh, what's that? Oh, double popsicle. If that's not the dream, what is? <laughs> okay, uh. Cool. Yeah, I remember getting the previous game like homing rocket launches and stuff, so you'd literally just press the button at the start of the level and then basically just rush through, which is kind of fun. It did sort of ruin the game a bit, but to be fair, that was my decision. To have homing, <laughs> homing stuff. Cool. Get the coins. Hidden staircase page. There's lots of collectibles if you want to get them. I remember the third, the third game didn't have a map or anything, so it was quite difficult to actually know which ones you've got. I think I missed an entire weapon because of that. So that's something to consider. Am I going to? Oh, I'm not. I was going to say, am I going to have to get some collectibles? So it's going to be too tough to attack head on, but you move far rushing. But yes, cool. Strafing. Yes. I know about strafing. Okay. Boss. We'll do the boss, alright? Then, it's home time. Okay, we've got ourselves a little dog robot called Jaeger. Jaeger bomb. I think that might be the joke. Can't really tell. Okay, let's go kill him. Oh, no. Growl. You just described my music taste. Oh, 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 that's gonna be. Okay. I don't know how you're supposed to block that. How are you supposed to block that? Oh, okay, you can shoot it. Okay, that's fine. Oh, I see. So then you move backwards at the same time. That's why it's... Oh, there we go. We've got ourselves an increasing the abilities. Medium throw and slow spin. Okay. So now it goes further and looks different. So that's the most satisfying feature in a game ever. Basically. That's the idea of it. So I guess that's... Is that the entire boss fight? That seems quite easy. But then again, it is the first boss battle, to be fair. I'll give them... You know, I have to, I'll give them their due that's the correct phrase. Okay, come on. There you go. We did it. Defeat boss one. Yeah, this game still seems just as fun and easy to play as the... Well, not easy to play, but, you know, sort of fun as the third game. Yeah, the inputs obviously all feel good. There's no... Nothing... You know, calm, no qualms there. Is that the phrase? I don't know. Yeah, it's all good. It's all good in, in the hood. Oh, it's just telling me I can destroy bushes. Oh, that's why. <laughs> okay. Good to know. I can destroy bushes. Avalon. Now we're in Avalon, okay? Avalon's a scary place. And because of how scary it is... Actually, I'm going to show you the shop because I want to see how it's changed. Oh, look. It's Rupert. Loyal pal. So was not he the baddie in the third one? Or is he not the baddie? Or was I mishearing? Callie. Thank goodness. Collie? Callie? I don't know. Callie's cave. Must be. Um, yeah. Any signs? Yeah, there's stuff going on there. But as I say, I'm going to look at the shop. Okay. Ooh, triple jump power up. I can jump three times. Look at that. Okay. So as you say, welcome to my store. Ooh, the store looks smaller than the previous game, but more concise. Because everyone had really annoying, silly upgrades no one would ever buy. Uh, if I remember, unlocks two more inventory slots for storing consumables. I mean, that's useful but boring. Okay. Cool. I mean, I guess it's still pretty useful. Lucky penny. What's that? Enables quick. Okay, that's very good. How much? Uh, how do I get that? See, that's weird. The pretty, oh, is it on the next page? Oh, it might be. Hmm. Oh God, I said it was more concise. No. Okay, actually, I saw. Oh, that's annoying. I can't even get to last page. How do I get? To, oh, I've got to move. To, okay, that's really finicky. Okay, so I need to keep it. Oh, that's. Oh, that's finicky. And there's no way to use the analog stick to increase. No, I'm just gonna have to deal with that being a bit finicky. Okay. So one thing I'm gonna have to say immediately is. 
yeah, the previous game you could sort of buy times two coins and stuff, so it meant you'd get more every time you picked up another coin to get double that, and that was an upgrade you'd buy. It seems like they've got rid of that. So I guess extra pack. They're all, I mean, these are all relatively cheap. It looks like you've got more upgrades to buy. And I want that. Is that 100,000? Yeah, so... What's that? Add 10 damage to Mario. Okay, so I've got who's in his house. So I guess there's, there is upgrades. I guess we'll go for that one for now. Because that's pretty useful. And I guess also that one. I think you might as well just, you know, do it like that. And I'll probably leave that one. And what other upgrades are there? Lloyd's LP, find more scrap. Hmm. Very... In oh, there's the collectibles thing. That's cool, then. I'll oh, boost XP game by 50%. Mm, okay, so there is sort of... Not doing the same coin thing as last time. Interesting. Anyway, nothing. Not that interesting to anyone else, but still. Yes, yeah, so that's this game really. Oh, close. Oh, maybe you will get them later in the game then. Oh, that's cool. So now in the shop you can actually see all your collectibles. Okay, I like that. What about up here? Just have a look up here quickly. Oh, just him having a little walk about. Okay, cool. And there's, what about up here? If there's not a secret up here, then I don't know what I'm doing. There must be. Nope, there's not. Okay, well, that is Candy's Caves 4. It's alright, yeah. It's, I mean, it's, it's, it does its job. And it's pretty much what you expect it to be. But it's, it's pretty fun. Herbert, oh, that was the baddie, I think. Yeah, that was the baddie of the previous one, I think. Maybe? Can't remember. Don't be scared, it's just me. Oh, I know, I wasn't. How are you, Herbert? Awesome, that's what me. Helping you and Rupert track down the amulet of Valerosaurus. Yeah. Okay, so this is how we travel around. Okay, that's good to know. That is good to know. So, alright, cool. So I guess Avalon is sort of your little home base now, instead of having a home base being every area. Okay, that's good. And obviously, assisting stuff like screen shake and stuff is there, so that's good. Stats, yep. Yeah. Well, okay then. Yeah, that's this game. Yeah, as I say, I think it is. I think it's a fun little game. It definitely is designed for mobiles first and foremost, but it's a fun game and I'd recommend it. Especially if you can get it cheap, and it's pretty, it's a pretty simple game to play, but it's nice and relaxing, you know. And there's obviously everyone likes getting upgrades and getting stronger and stuff. So yeah, that's Caddy's Caves 4. Thanks for watching, big boys. See you at some point in time, and bye. bye, bye, bye.